So Camtasia 2024 has been released. Uh, there are lots of updates, but I think if you're into making educational and training videos, which is what I do, then one of the most significant updates is now what is called dynamic subtitles. In other words, it will actually, without you having to script or write anything, add the subtitles to your video. And that's exactly what you can see happening on the screen now. Now I make videos a lot of the time for language learning. Therefore the students who are learning languages may not necessarily be native speakers. In fact, they definitely aren't native speakers. And this is gonna be a major benefit. So let's go through how the uh, subtitles work, how the dynamic subtitles work. You'll see there's lots of options. There are lots of settings, but as as always in Camtasia essentially it's super super simple one last thing many people ask me how I make my videos I use Camtasia if you want to try it out there's a link to test it for free in the description you can also buy it with a discount I've provided a link there and there's also a free six-part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works and I'll also put that in the description so I've got a recording on the screen now. You can see my webcam and there's also a background. And if I was to play this, you'll notice that there are no subtitles. In other words, I've just recorded myself in Camtasia, but there are no subtitles added. Let me just click on the button here. So Camtasia 2024 has been released. Uh, there are lots of updates, but I think now, interestingly, in the past, if I'd have wanted to add subtitles, I could have done it, but I couldn't do it dynamically, and it would have taken me ages. And in fact, I've just finished a project with a big university in Scotland where I was adding subtitles to many videos, and it really did take me a long time. Look how quick it is now. Watch this. So the option I'm gonna choose is I'm gonna click down here to more, and I'm gonna click on captions. And all I need to do is to make sure that I'm in dynamic captions. You'll see actually that we've got quite a few options as well. Now I particularly like this one where it kind of highlights the word. Now there are a number of them that do highlight, but let me just show you this one because I think this one works really well. I'm gonna drag this on to just above where the audio is. Okay, so the audio, as you can see, is on this line here. That is the webcam plus my audio file. And now all I've done is drag the dynamic track captions into the track above. And I'm gonna play this now and let's look what happens. Released, uh, there are lots of updates, but I think if you're into making educational and training videos, now I think that's absolutely fantastic. And the speed and the amount of work that that's gonna save me is unbelievable. Now, of course, as I said at the beginning, there are options to change the background colors and to change the fonts and to size it and to position it. But fundamentally, that is all you would need to do if you were happy with those subtitles. And I think they're already pretty good. Of course, we can edit and change them if there are any mistakes, etc. So let's just take it a little bit further and just look at some of the interesting options. Now you've got a lot of control over where you want to position the subtitles. So for example, if I get Mac grab this, I could drag it to another place. So at the top of the screen or at the bottom of the screen, I could kind of control the size of this area as well. If I wanted to drag it out and make it a bit cover kind of the whole of the video there at the bottom, then that would also be a possibility. And if we come over here on the right hand side and click on the properties of the text, you'll see that there are lots of options. Now, one interesting thing here straight away is that of course we can change the font color just switch for another font color. And this could be really interesting, for example, if you've got particular colors that you use in your organization. So the trying to keep the look and feel of your video. So that's an interesting one. Obviously the size can be very important as well. And particularly for me, that's gonna be a very important factor. And also look at this, highlight per word. So this feature, as you notice, it highlights the word that is currently being spoken on the screen. And I think this is a great feature for foreign language students. And notice you can, if you want, turn that off. But really, I think there's a lot of value in running that. And you can, if you come down as well, actually look at the background color and change that background color. So at the moment, if I wanted to, I could switch that over, for example, 
and change it to, let's just change it for example here, and then it will change to that. Now, of course, the system doesn't pick up everything perfectly. The clearer you speak and the, the more you enunciate your words, the better. But of course, there will be the occasion when you need to correct something. How do you do that? Well, just click actually on the audio file. So if I click here, I click on that notice now that as long as I'm in dynamic captions, so I'm in dynamic captions, I can now adjust and change anything. So if I, for example, let's say that this was wood, and I could just sort of write wood and change it, or perhaps here, if I made an, uh, another mistake, let's say that was wrote, then I could obviously update it here. So that's very easy just to simply update the transcription um, if there are any mistakes. The secret is to speak nice and clearly. Obviously, the better microphone you've got, the more clearly the audio is gonna be perceived, and therefore, the better the subtitles will be. This is gonna be a game changer for me and the work that I do. I really hope you liked that video, and if you did, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. But also, if you want more videos on Camtasia, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. The whole of the site and all the videos have been created using Camtasia, been working with Camtasia since 2006 and if you click over here on screen capture you'll see there's absolutely masses of videos on using Camtasia and I'll be adding lots and lots of new videos over the next couple of weeks working with Camtasia 2024. Finally, if you'd like some training in Camtasia either individually or as a group, I am a recommended Camtasia trainer you will find me recommended on their website you can contact me from teachertrainingvideos.com and just click here and you can send me an email and explain to me what you're looking for thank you very much i'm going to leave a few more videos now on the screen about other features in camtasia